Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use drop zones in Final Cut Pro. You know, a lot of editors just avoid it, but you and I, we are gonna face the very fires of hell and master the beast known as drop zones. Now I'm gonna share with you how to use transitions and titles with the drop zone feature. We're gonna dive into some of the nuance of how to make those clips really work. And then finally, I'm gonna share a cool trick how to help your clips land on just the right moment. Let's go check that out. All right, so we're here in Final Cut Pro. We are gonna drop into drop zones. So let's take a look here. Uh, what we're gonna go for is a boxing fight theme. So, all right, first thing we're gonna do is go to the browser. And in these titles, we're gonna look for point. And looks like we got one there. So this works great as a little intro. So we're gonna drag this on top of this first part of the clip. All right, and you see this rectangular box with the arrow dropping down. That is a drop zone. You're gonna see those a lot in this tutorial. So when we see those, what we wanna do is we wanna get to the inspector so we can modify them. So we're gonna close down the browser, open up inspector. We're gonna make sure that we are in the title inspector. And as you can see here, you see these gray boxes with the arrow again. And right now they're both saying no source. So we're gonna click on this first one. And we're gonna find a source. So let's open up our browser again, go over to our library, and we're just gonna grab one of these. Uh, let's just do something a little more moody. All right, apply clip. And we'll click on the other one. Let's do another one down here. Both those look pretty good. All right, let's go back and play it, see what we got. All right, that's interesting, but something weird happened. Uh, they're videos, but they both froze. Let me show you how to get around that. So when you're selecting the source clip, like I was doing earlier, I selected near the end of the clip, which left no room for the clip to play through. So what happened is the clip started to play. When it reached the final frame, it just froze there. So what you wanna do is you wanna find a clip and click way early in that clip's timeline. And let's go to the other one. And for that clip, we're gonna, again, just click early in it. Apply, let's play that back now. And of course with this, you're gonna to want to change some of these titles. So we're gonna click on the text inspector. We'll click on this title, we'll put in there, boxing, the subtitle we can do, championship, description let's go ahead and throw in I don't know Las Vegas Nevada got a lot of fights there why not and then this final one we'll put in fight night 2021 boom 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 so those drop zones are working for us those clips are playing all the way through we've got a nice intro for our fight night so we're gonna find another title this one's gonna be a little different this one we are looking for team these are the two guys going up against one another in the ring. All right, so just like in the last example, we are going to look at the text inspector. We're gonna click on the image well here and select our clip. Let's go ahead and select this one here. Let's say this is our first fighter. And then let's find our next fighter. Let's say it's this guy here. They kind of are facing each other both going at the bag. Each of these has like a little square that it's fitting inside of. I personally like turning that off and doing a non-square, which then fills up the entire frame. But you'll see these, they're, they're kind of fitting in there kind of odd. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the X and Y position. And this one we can move over a little more. All right, let's play that back and see how that looks. This guy's not giving us a lot of action. Let's try moving that clip a little bit. We'll select the source clip and move it back here. Apply, and let's see how that looks. Yeah, okay, okay. You see a little bit more of the aggression there. Call this guy Punchy. Call this guy Whammo. All right, and we have a intense, we got an intense match between Whammo and Punchy. Look out. Not as bad as you thought, huh? Well, guess what? We make videos like this all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release a new video. 
we're gonna look at one more of these, and that is stats. Let's bring that in here. Again, we're looking for those drop zones. Let's go ahead and bring something in that's more of a logo. And we're gonna grab this logo here, and we're gonna modify it some. All right, we got our logo there. Now let's get our fighter. Bring in this guy, apply clip, and boom. Got our fighter, got our logo. Let's give this guy a name. This guy is, this guy's name is Jabber. Jab, jab. <laughs> and it uh, looks like we got a lot of things we can change here, position. So we've now done a few uh, examples of drop zones that actually kind of build out a whole fight night video for us. So explore the titles. There are some more that have drop zones in them and you can customize things and find your right style. There's also a lot of plugins out there for free and for purchase that you can check out that have a very similar style. Many plugins out there have drop zones featured in them. So if you've practiced here with the built-in plugins, you'll have a really easy time with the new ones. All right, now let's check out a transition. So we're gonna come over here to transitions. We're gonna look for multi. Let's click on all, and there it is. Look at all those drop zones. So in this transition, we have four different clips that we can drop in. So let's go ahead and find some of these here. Let's do that one, this one here, and that. And finally, let's throw in, let's mix it up with this one here. All right, so let's apply that, play it back. Looks pretty good. Now some of these are, are kind of hitting at the wrong spot. And so if we want to have a little bit of help with matching these up just right, anytime you've got a drop zone, what you can do is you can actually bring a clip in, like let's say this one right here, because that, that punch isn't quite hitting. You get it like coming back like that. It's just kind of a wind up but maybe we want that punch to be thrown. So let's go back in here, drag this clip down, and find that spot right there. See where that punch is hitting? Let's say we want that impact to be right before everything is done in that transition. Let's take that piece out. So yeah, that, that transition ends like right there, but we want that punch to hit. So we're gonna size that up to our transition, and then we're gonna create a new compound clip. This is just an extra step that Final Cut forces us to do. So we're gonna say drop zone the fourth. And so now we have a compound clip. If we look in here, that clip will also appear in our library. But for now, what we're gonna do is go back into this, and that spot where it was taken up that clip before, we're actually gonna click on the beginning of this and apply clip and now let's get this out of there we'll play so because we took a little bit of time to get these clips hitting on the right spot there's a lot more punch to this transition and this introduction to this fight night is a lot more interesting one last thing i want to share is that as you're on this uh, transition or anywhere you've got the drop zones if you double click it gives you control over that drop zone area so you can adjust it apply it here we can go to this one here you, uh, zoom in a bit on on this guy but yeah you have a lot of control at your fingertips you can crop in and do all that good stuff let's play that back so something to keep in mind is drop zone clips do not retain their audio so if you needed audio in those moments you'd want to drop that music or that sound effect down below on the timeline now there's a lot of confusion out there about drop zones hopefully i cleared a few things up for you and you'll be able to use this tool to enhance your videos in the future. And with that, we've reached the end. Thanks for tagging along. Well, now we know you aren't one to back down from a challenge. So I have a free gift for you, a pack of Final Cut Pro plugins to enhance your videos and impress your clients. It's worth $138, but it's yours free. Click below to get your free gift.